Hello, everybody. My name is uh, Dr. Paul Guedonnet. I'm an interventional cardiologist at the PTS Salpetria Hospital in Paris, France. Today, I'm very pleased to talk to you about the study we perform in my center. So what we did is a systematic rhythmic monitoring of patients undergoing a patent foramen ovale percutaneous closure. For that, we use um, implantable loop recorder for higher risk patient, that is all the patient or patient with the known palpitation. And we used a external uh, loop recorder for all of the patients with a lower risk. Now, what we show in this study is that the true incidence of supraventricular, uh, supraventricular significant arrhythmia following uh, PFO closure was actually 20.9% within the first 28 days following the procedure. That is three times to five times higher to what had been previously reported in the dedicated uh, randomized control trial. What we also show is that older age, a male sex, or the use of a larger devices were independent risk factors of the incidence of supraventricular arrhythmia. Now, these results really challenge um, our knowledge on how we should monitor patients undergoing PFO percutaneous closure. It also raises the issue of using systematic anti-arrhythmic treatments following PFO uh, closure, uh, which is currently investigated by the ongoing uh, afloat randomized control trial, which is led by the Action Care Society Research. I thank you very much.